Today I'm going to be reviewing a roll of PLA filament from 3D Universe. 3D Universe sent me over a roll of their new PLA filament. Um, it came in a box like this. It was shrink wrapped and everything like you'd expect. Um, if you go on their website, you can see that they have several different companies filament. I think there was like 10 or so different companies. Um, all different types of material, all different types of ABS and nylon and everything you could imagine it looks like they have. This filament is their PLA from their company, 3D Universe. So this is what the, the filament that they make. Um, this one is 30 bucks a roll. I measured it up. It looks very consistent. Um, it kind of has a matte finish. This is their yellow. Um, so we'll take it upstairs. Um, I'll show you the settings I'm going to use. I'll start with the base, a base PLA uh, settings for the slicer. We'll print out three or four um, different test prints and bring them back down here and look at them and see how they print and I'll let you know what I think. So here we are at the computer and the first thing I want to do is quickly go through um, 3D Universe's website and you can see that they have tons of stuff. They sell all sorts of printers, all sorts of materials that you would need for printing and in terms of filament um, they have from several different companies from several different materials, uh, sizes. They really have a ton of stuff. And the filament that I'm, that I'm testing is their own 3D U Universe filament. And you can see they have PLA, ABS, and different sizes. And I have the PLA, the 1.75, and specifically the yellow. The first one is this chess piece. And this is good because it has curved lines, it has a little bit of overhang, it has some detail here at the top. So you really have to have your settings dialed in to get a good part here. So this is a good general part to print. The next one I'm going to print is a bottle opener. And this is really going to focus on the strength of the material. If it's brittle or it doesn't have good layer adhesion, it might start to crack or you might see it fatigue at certain areas. And even more so is in a part like this, a carabiner, where you want strength, but you also want bendability. And typically, um, the characteristics of PLA is, is bendability is not one of them. Um, it's very rigid, so this might be a, a difficult part to print. And the last thing I wanted to print was something very detailed. So on a part like this, I might, um, like I said, you want good layer adhesion, so you might up the temperature on here, but for a part like this, you might want some detail, so you might need to lower the temperature. So opening up Cura, let's say uh, I'm going to print this Yoda. The key here is temperature, and PLA is going to work with a wide range of temperature. But for this, I might actually lower it to about 190. I, 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 th this PLA I've printed anywhere from 190 to 210. Bed temp I like to leave at 50. Um, make sure this sticks through the whole print because this is, like it says, it's going to be a four-hour print. Um, so I'll print them all out take them downstairs and really look at them and see the finer points and let you know what I think. I just finished printing the four different test parts for 3D Universe's PLA and here's what it looked like. So all the parts came off the printer and they looked super clean. I had zero issues with printing and clogging and things like that. It was a very consistent, easy to print with filament. And again, with their PLA, they ship it in a kilogram roll, not like some other companies that'll give you 750 grams or some small roll. This is a big roll of filament at a very reasonable price. You're getting a ton of stuff. So it's great for a beginner, somebody that's printing a ton of different things and they don't even know what they're printing. They're just printing stuff off. This is a great filament to have because it's so versatile and easy to print with. And looking at the chest piece, I had zero issues with this. Some other filaments I had issues with overhangs or blobs or things like that. I just picked a standard PLA setting and this thing printed beautifully. There was no um, uh, stringiness on the top. I didn't have any issues with overhang. This this is a tricky piece to print and it had it printed fine. Even with this printer, even with a small fan and 
things like that might not be calibrated perfectly, it came out fine. And, and that was a, a characteristic through all of these different parts. It, it works under a wide range of settings and it just prints very nicely. Um, as far as the carabiner, this thing is super rigid like most PLAs and it's not going to flex or bend. And it's just, although at the, at the bendy points, it, it does snap down, but like I expected with a PLA, it's very rigid. And with all these parts, real quickly, I printed at a 0.3 millimeter Z spacing because I wanted to push it. I wanted to see where this stuff was going to fail. No, normally, I'm going to print at 0.1 or 0.2 millimeters. I wanted to print at 0.3 to try to accentuate where stuff might look bad or how it might look, how it might fail or might sag or drip. And like this, it printed fine. It had no issues. There was no curling or anything like that. So I'm really happy with how it looks. Um, with the uh, bottle opener, again, 0.3 millimeter height, you can barely see these lines. It looks really great. It's really firm and rigid and strong. It's brittle like a PLA, but that's the characteristic of a PLA. But the look and finish of it, right off the print bed, this looks perfect. You know, you don't have to sand it or anything. All these lines are super clean and smooth. And with the little Yoda head, again, I printed this at 0.3 millimeters. You can still see all the detail in the head and shoulders and face. It printed super clean. And I did print it with an over, uh, on the overhang some support. It probably didn't need it. And again, if you obviously if you're gonna print this for a friend or something to print off to give to somebody, you're not gonna do 0.3 and it'll look even more detailed. So again, with the settings, this is super versatile and prints under a wide range of different, different sets. A great filament for beginners that haven't got everything dialed in exactly. Um, this will hide any of those mistakes. And with this big roll and ease of printing with it, this is great for if you're gonna print a ton of parts or your prototyping parts. One minor issue I would have isn't with the filament itself, it's just I wish there was a little bit more information they gave either in the packaging or on the roll. There was some information on their website, but it's always nice if they had it right on the, the roll itself. So that's just a little minor point that I would add. So if you've never tried 3D Universe PLA, I highly recommend going to their website and trying it out. Um, I had a great experience printing with their filament. It came out nice. Everything was clean I had zero issues and you get a nice big roll of filament to print with and if you have printed with them let me know if your experience was the same as mine I'm guessing it probably was um, like I said I had zero issues and everything turned out really well so I hope you like this review of their filament and let me know what you think thanks so opening up Cura let's say uh, I'm gonna print this Yoda the key here is temperature, and PLA is going to work with a wide range of temperature, but for this, I might actually lower it to about 190. I, 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 th this PLA I've printed anywhere from 190 to 210. Bed temp I like to leave at 50. Um, make sure this sticks through the whole print, because this is, like it says, it's going to be a four hour print. Um, and speed, I might even slow it down if I can. If I want to take that time, I might slow it down to 30, but we can adjust that later. Um, the, again, layer height, I might make this um, 0.15, I could maybe lower this shell thickness to 0.08, um, sorry, 0.8, and same thing here for bot top and bottom. And the density, 20 is fine, or I could even print this hollow if I don't want any lines appearing inside of it. Um, I could even, because uh, sometimes those those lines can show through. So I might, I might be able to print it hollow and you won't even get those lines because this is not a structural part. Um, otherwise you're gonna get, you're gonna see all these grid lines, you know, in the part it might show through if you print a, a thin shell. So, but then again, when I print off uh, the bottle opener, I might be upping this density to 60 or 70 or something like that. So these settings, the temperature and bed temperature aren't going to change, but some other settings are going to change. Uh, again, so support, I'm going to need support here, and I'm going to, I'm going to set it for everywhere. But for the, uh, the chest piece or the bottle opener, I would select none. You don't need any overhang, and you don't want it. Um, for more advanced, it doesn't need to be uh, that much retraction. This could be even down to 30 and the distance could be down to three. I haven't had any problems with this PLA being stringy, especially 
at this lower temperature. It might get a little, if you're gonna print it hot, like you might wanna print the, the bottle opener at 210, you could maybe up this a little to 40 and four, but I haven't had any issues. Um, initial layer thickness, I like to up that a little to get uh, a good thick uh, amount of filament on that first layer. But again, it's not necessary. It's just gonna be a little thinner at the bottom. Um, for speed, this is gonna come into play a lot for a detailed print like this. You know, a bottom layer speed a little bit slower, infill a little faster, and this outer shell speed, you might wanna make it, if you wanna make it very, very detailed, you could set it to 20, but again, you're increasing that time for the more detail you want it, um, the more time it's gonna take. But you can adjust these things for each part, again, with that bottle opener. I might not slow this down at all. I might print it at 50 and really make it print, see how fast I can print it. Um, so these are the parts I'm gonna print and I'm gonna be tweaking these settings as I go along.